Well, it snuck up on us really fast. It's Christmas 2023. This is a special edition of Weiss Thoughts. Let's go. It's time for a virtual campfire sit down with Terry Weiss. Welcome to Weiss Thoughts. Hey, everybody. Welcome, 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 welcome to the podcast. Welcome to Weiss Thoughts. I am your host, Terry Weiss, and I am so glad you've decided to join us and spend some of your valuable time with us here today on the podcast, lovingly called our virtual campfire sit-down, WeissThoughts.com. I hope you are all well. I hope the family is well. And we, as we talked about in the teaser, we're going to talk about Christmas 2023. This is a special edition of Weiss Thoughts, as it is Christmas Christmas 2023, uh, did you get all your Christmas shopping done? Did you? <laughs> I got most of mine done. And boy, didn't it really sneak up on it on us this year? Holy mackerel. But before we get into that, it's going to be time for our very fa- favorite segment that we got coming up here in just a second here, the Wordsmith Word of the Episode. We're going to get into that. And uh, just by the way, WeissThoughts.com is the website. So if you want to stop by the website, it's WeissThoughts.com. There you can listen to each and every episode of this podcast, comment on the shows if you so feel so inclined, and so much more. It's all at WeissThoughts.com, and it's waiting for you. I also have a YouTube channel. Just look for Weiss Thoughts on YouTube or at Terry Weiss on YouTube, okay? Now, before we do that, before we get underway with the show today, we've got a couple house cleaning things to take care of, and you know what time it is. Uh, It's that time again. It's time for the Wordsmith Word of the Episode. That's right, it is. It's time for our Wordsmith Word of the Episode, where you can show everybody about your knowledge of the English language. And this week's word, Smith word of the episode is Miss A-W-A. Got about. All right. One more time. Got about. All right. Let's use that in a sentence, shall we? My cousin is such a gat about. She's always posting photos from a fun new location. You can call me a gat about, but I'm always looking for the upside in a situation. So a gat about is an habitual pleasure seeker. That's what a gadabout is, a habitual pleasure seeker, and it is English from the mid-18th century. And you you really don't hear this one used that often nowadays, but it is gadabout. It is spelled G-A-D-A-B-O-U-T. And that's our wordsmith word of the episode for this edition of the Waste Thoughts podcast. So go out there, impress your friends. Uh, show them, show them your big brain and your uh, your very wide use of the vocabulary that you now possess with Gadabout. So, uh, welcome, folks. Welcome to the podcast. Welcome to our virtual campfire sit down. We lovingly call Weiss Thoughts. I am so glad that you're here today, and and we are very happy to have you aboard our December 2023. Special edition of the podcast. It's here. That's right. Christmas. Christmas is upon us. And wow, didn't it, did it, is it just me? Is it just me or did it really seem to get here quick this year? Holy moly guacamole. Um, it, <laughs> I don't know. Is it, are you ready for it? Are you ready for Christmas? Um, have you done all your Christmas shopping yet? Are you done? I got a couple last minute items to get but but barring that though yeah I guess I'm pretty ready. It's just really it's really odd because it it snuck up on me this year. And usually usually it doesn't do that for me. It doesn't sneak up on me. I'm I'm usually a, a pretty good steward of uh watching and monitoring the time in the run up to the holidays. It's it's very rare that something catches me unaware. But this year, this year it did. And I was like, oh, no, it's, it's here, man. I, I better, you know, get my keister in gear. But one of my favorite times of year, besides Thanksgiving, because Christmas, you get all the goodies. You know, you get the big Christmas dinner. You got Christmas cookies, which is uh, 
my personal demon <laughs> around the holidays. I'll tell you, because I, do you do like I do? Now, when, when Mrs. W is making the cookies and everything, every year, and I've done this every year to her, she has to shoo me out of the kitchen because I'm always uh, I'm trying to sneak one when she's not looking. And uh, one turns into two, which turns into about four or five. And then she's like, hey, get out of here. I'm trying to cook. <laughs> and then I get myself in a little bit of hot water. But, uh, yeah, I just, one of my favorite times of the year, who knows if the weather's going to hold up here in the northeastern half of the United States from whence the program cometh to you. We are supposed to have a green, a green Christmas this year. They're talking about highs. Are you ready for this? On Christmas Day, they're talking for a high on Christmas Day between 50 and 55 degrees. Break out the Bermuda shorts. It's a Hawaiian Christmas in the Northeast this year, folks. Santa's going to be wearing uh, shades and uh, some SPF 30, I guess. <laughs> oh, golly. Well, what are you going to do? Hey, it's about celebrating the holiday. It's, a, it's about the fellowship. It's about getting together with friends and family. That's what it's important. That's what it's about. Um, not so much the weather. So I would submit that for your... Uh, consideration in there. But uh, who knows? Um, what are some of your favorite uh, what are some of your favorite memories of Christmas past? The ghosts of Christmas past, as it were. Uh, it, it can be a tough time of the year, I know, for some of you out there, on a serious note. I know it can be a tough time of the year for some of you out there that maybe are going through some struggles, whether it's right now or in the past that Things have happened on Christmas Day or leading up to Christmas, whether it be illnesses or the loss of a, a spouse, a friend, a child, a parent, a loved one of, of any form. And with that, I, I pass along my sincerest best wishes and peace of mind for you for the holidays. And I would offer, I would offer this, take heart, don't let... A, you know, a, a tragedy, um, you know, befall and stain all the happiness that, that this time of the year can bring. And I know, I know what some of you are saying. You're saying, yeah, Terry, that's easy for you to say. Maybe that hasn't happened to you yet. And honestly, you know, knock on, knock on the desk here, it hasn't. And I, I wish it, I hope it never does. And I don't wish it on anyone else either, even people I don't particularly care for. That being said, though, you know, like I state on this program a lot, you, you, we only get one trip, one trip on this blue orb that we call Earth. And I know some real crappy things happen to good people who don't deserve it. Uh, and it can really take away from the the joy of the holiday season. And, and it, it has to probably be difficult for some of you out there that look around and say, everybody, oh, yay, happy. And you're like, you know, but don't, don't let it turn into a, to a Scrooge. A little sip of water there. Just to, uh, don't, don't let it, um, you know, drag you down and, and, and do that. I know, it can be easy to do, especially in today's world with all not not discounting the personal issues that some of us may have, but the world stage and again, the way that sometimes the world just loves to promote misery is what I say. They love to promote the misery, don't they? They love to promote the misery out in the world. And a lot of us out here buy into it. And at times I have too. So again, not standing on a soapbox preaching at you or wagging my finger in any way, shape, or form. All I'm saying is trying to remember the true spirit of the holidays. Um, celebrate the ones around you. You know, it might be that, yeah, maybe you've lost a friend or a loved one, but celebrate the ones that remain. Be there for them. They can be there for you. And maybe, you know, get through the holiday and to bigger and better things. So, but speaking of Christmas, uh, did 
Did you find or have you found that you are spending less this year, maybe due to just economic conditions? Or are you pulling back and spending less just for the mere fact of you want to get away from the commercialism of Christmas? Is that one of the things you want to do is just take that step back and say, you know what? I am sick of the corporate America pounding Christmas and saying, if you don't buy this Xbox 74 that costs, you know, $900 for your seven-year-old, well, you're not a good parent. <laughs> Maybe you're taking a step back a little bit and want to teach your children uh, instead, instead of consumerism uh, and, and big capitalism, you're just taking a step back a little bit and saying, hey, you know what? We're going to we still give gifts and such. But we're going to scale it back a little this year. Or maybe you're scaling back because of financial things. You know, we're, we're still officially in a recession, I guess you could say, with inflation still being pretty high uh, and forefront on most people's, pe- people's mind. People's? People's? <laughs> most forefront on people's minds. This is what happens when you try and have four thoughts ahead of the thought you're currently talking about. And uh, no... I have not had any caffeinated beverages uh, two hours prior to recording this for you. But uh, the holidays, yes. The holidays, yes, indeed. They can be a great source of inspiration, a great source of triumph, a great source of love and understanding, forgiveness, um, so many things. But they can be a source of, of grief and loneliness for some people as well. So, you know, good, bad. I guess ultimately at the end of the day, what I'm trying to say is any holiday, including Christmas, it is what you make of it. It is what you make of it. And it's up to each and every one of us to decide what we're going to make of it this year in the year 2023. Uh, And following right around the corner is New Year's, New Year's Day, to the start of uh, 2024 is just literally right around the corner, folks. So get those New Year's resolutions ready. I'm going to lose weight this year. I'm going to save more money this year. I'm going to make more money this year. I'm going to spend more time with my family and so on and so forth. But think about it. And that's coming quickly right after Christmas. So you got to get those, you got to get those things ready, right? <laughs> I mean, the year is ending, and it's. I think it's a great time to, to sit back and think, what have I accomplished this year? When I, when I started in January of this year, what, and when I say I, I'm talking about all of us, what did we want? What did we want to accomplish? What did we yearn for? What did we want to change? What did we not want to change? Things we wanted to accomplish. Did we accomplish them? Did we get through half of them? Did we get through a quarter of them? Did we get through none of them? Did we progress or did we regress? You know, things like that. It's a great time of the year while you're out celebrating, having your eggnog and your whiskey gimlets or, you know, whatever, your Christmas punch. It's a great time of the year to now start thinking about, okay, let's do that year in review like everyone does for all these shows. The year in review. And start thinking ahead to the next year and what you can do to, you know, improve, make the upcoming year better than this year. But before you do that, at least enjoy the holiday season. Get get together with your friends, get together with your family, uh, your neighbors, your loved ones, your friends, and just enjoy the holiday season. Don't let the outside world get you down. Don't let past things or present things get you down. And if you can, if you can, mend defenses in your family and friendships and your relationships. Because life, life, my friends, is way too short for any of us, I think, to hold grudges for any length of time. We, we are, like I said, we only got a finite amount of time on this planet to do, experience, and enjoy it. And we want to make the most of it. And hopefully all of us, all of us, yours truly, and all of us listening to the podcast today have many, 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 many decades of life left. So make them good. Make them count. 
Make them special. Make memories. Remember, the past is history. Tomorrow is a mystery. All we have is the present. Enjoy your Christmas, all of you. God bless you, one and all. I wish nothing but the best for you and your family this holiday season. And we will talk real soon. Thanks again for listening to Weiss Thoughts. Hey, thanks for listening to the program today. I truly appreciate each and every one of you out there. And remember, to see a change in the world, you have to be the change in the world you want to see. It all starts with you, the person looking back at you in the mirror every morning. Remember to be kind to yourself. Be kind to others. If you want to tweet at me on Twitter, it's at Terry Weiss. Stop by the website, weissthoughts.com. Just to make sure you spell my name right, W-Y-C-E, weissthoughts.com. And hey, leave us a positive rating and review on your favorite podcast provider, won't you? Tell your friends, tell your family, tell your pets about Weiss Thoughts. And I look forward to gathering yet again around the virtual campfire with you real soon. Take care.